Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo, May 1, 2022. You have two choices today. Either jump into the thick of the mess with both hands up, or simply stay out of it altogether. There are definitely two distinct camps today that are setting up their arsenal for battle. Realize that there is a soft, tender, harmonious aspect that just wants peace. It will be hard to ignore the fact that your usual warring nature is ready to do battle. Generally speaking, this should be a fortunate day for love, your career, money, and health. Plans for taking a trip might finally materialize, and a long-awaited pay raise could finally happen. You should be feeling very enthusiastic and optimistic about your future, and you might even be bold enough to take a few more chances. Go for the gold, and don't be surprised if it actually comes. You are undoubtedly working on a new way of looking at your professional activity these days. You are concerned with the future of your profession or at the very least, the evolution of your trade. It is soon going to be time to apply the way you envisage your future and give it concrete form. What you think is no longer in the realm of science fiction. The future is soon to be now. Nothing could get in your way today. You're a real go-getter. Your company may be considering some interesting projects. Who better than you to lead the charge? Alas, you may encounter some people who are not so optimistic and energetic about your ideas. Listen to those voices inside your head reminding you to weigh the risks. Sometimes material things do matter, and in the long run can help fulfill some of your grand ideas. Your zest for life is infectious, allowing your family to enjoy your company and open manner. You feel strong enough to do just about anything. Use this positive energy and meet up with friends. Wouldn't it be nice to plan an excursion for your group? Let your friends know how you feel. Invite one or a few of them out for dinner your treat and just unload. They will be more helpful than you expect. Patient and accepting you feel you're able to seduce almost anyone you meet. Don't get too carried away, not everyone is automatically impressed, even if you are friendly. Be selective about who you talk to, take note of reactions you get. Use your intuition, if your intention is to find new love, you're successful. You might feel cornered into doing something you just don't want to do today. Perhaps you made a promise to handle a project, or someone close to you has decided that it's the day to call in an IOU. Either way, if you're not comfortable following through, communicate that. Your ability to express yourself and to be understood is enhanced with this day's energy, and rescheduling may be far better than potential resentment. The gears in your social life are having some problems too. People get on your nerves a bit, your friends most notably, who will be hassling you a lot today. They're out of luck because you are not going to take it. Nothing and no one will make you concede. You don't have any intention of letting people walk all over you. So, they will just have to understand but if they don't. They will probably be put out, mad or even very angry. You are feeling ambitious today, as is typical for you. But it is possible that your ambitions have changed, and now more accurately reflect the real you. Write down these new goals of yours. Looking at them in black and white will allow you to see them more objectively. Be sure that the new plans you've set for yourself are, in fact, attainable. The Moon and the Dwarf Planet series may have both left Taurus yesterday but this allows you to move forward aware of your own truth, needs and priorities and with every reason to face the future with confidence. Meanwhile, while the moon is only in your income sector for a few days, with series here until April and with massive movement on the income and career fronts in that time, you are emotionally and intuitively engaged from the start. The moon's friendly aspect to planets on the career front is just a small taste of things to come. Before leaving Taurus yesterday the moon crossed the lunar nodes, which it will do with every monthly visit but this time, with perfect timing. Throughout the 18 months that the lunar nodes will police a balance between your personal and relationship needs the moon will be key to the journey but it came just as Ceres, in her final hours in Taurus was helping you to better understand those needs at a much deeper level. Our Eyes in the Sky 
The caveat is that it can make us more discriminatory about the people we trust, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. To be honest, it's important to be a little suspicious of everyone until they've proven that they're trustworthy. Venus also shares a minor connection with Uranus, which juxtaposes the Saturn energy. We can expect to be somewhat indecisive throughout the day. All of these planets need to know that a relationship or financial obligation is strong and maintains our independence before we commit. The Sun and Pluto share a minor connection that makes us want to go deep even though the Saturn-Venus planetary connection urges us to be cool and aloof. This can allow us to get to the bottom of situations and make sure that we're giving equal energy to people who are reciprocating. If not, it's an indication that the relationship must evolve. In the morning, Venus forms a trine to Saturn in Aquarius, strengthening existing bonds. If we are partnered, relationship challenges can be worked out by communicating desires and coming to wise compromises. Mutual respect and admiration grow as we adapt to new circumstances while agreeing to make each other a priority. If unpartnered, this influence can make us quite eager for a mate. Because we are open with our expectations and fair in our asks, we could now meet someone who fits our bill. Be mindful that showy displays of affection can actually be a turn-off, as this influence resonates with more mature and sincere declarations of love and appreciation. Mid-morning, the Aries moon opposes Mars in Virgo, making us scatterbrained. With our focus shot, we might become overly sensitive, taking the smallest things personally. We've been working so hard, the pressure is mounting, and we simply need a break. Otherwise, our fuse will become shorter and shorter, and we will become more and more upset, assuming we can't do anything right. Conversely, we might be the one taking our feelings out on a more emotional person who can't seem to get with the program. It's better now to channel our energy into creative work. Have a good cry if you need to.